Hello, this is the um, fourth video in the series and this time we're going to have a look at the timeline. This is the private information about us that we like to put up on Facebook so others can see it and this time we will control who actually does see what. So we need to update our information so the first thing we do is we go to our timeline page which is this one here and then we click on update info which is at the top there and that takes us through to our about page you can tell us at the about page because of this little about thing here so having done that if we have a quick look at it we have work and education here and we can specify where have where we have been and who we've worked for um, and what colleges we've gone to and our history and a little bit about us so there's quite a bit on this page and to be quite honest if you don't want people to know much about you you don't put it up here so let's just work our way through each one as we go each section has its own particular privacy control and they're not all the same so if we click on the little wee thing here, we get another drop down list and uh, we can share this information on our work and education with the public, with our friends and whoever we like, we can actually select the list that we want to share it with. And so that's pretty good. Just the point about lists is you can have the one person on one list two lists or even three lists and if you select a particular list and that person is on, on it he will actually set so we click there when it's done we select our audience from the drop down box and that's that so the next step is a bit about where we live and this is something you want to be a little bit careful about because you don't really want to tell the whole world where you live but there are people that do and you'll see that I've just got Magnify New Zealand, Magnify New Zealand and each name or each place has its own little privacy control so I determine who will see my current city or who will see my hometown and that too can be a very handy thing to do the next little box is our contact information and this can be quite sensitive at times we may not wish to share our email uh, addresses for example because there are people who harvest email addresses and you can end up being spammed by them but each section and I've blanked out my email addresses because this thing is going to go live out across the internet and each one has its own little wee privacy control Okay, as you can see there, I can add or remove emails from this spot here. I can put my mobile phone number there. And down here, I can have my work phone number. And in here, I can have screen names. And down here, I can have the actual address of where we live, which I haven't done. Okay, so let's just have a quick look through the slides. Each part has its own privacy control. And you get a drop-down list there. And having the drop down list you can select the level of privacy you require from the drop down list and then we can go further down that particular box and we find it says I am a male and it says here show my sex on my timeline well I haven't ticked that because I don't believe you should I mean that's private you know with a name like uh, John or Jonathan or whatever you like I mean I've got to be a male, but sometimes, really, you don't really want that information there. So if we just click the button again, and I want you to pay attention to this particular setting. Facebook require you to put your whole birth date in there. When you sign up for a Facebook account, you put your whole birth date in. That includes the month, the day, and the year. But to display it on your profile page or in the about section so if anybody else comes to this page they will only see what you specify and you can determine just what people see it's nice to get birthday messages so I show only the month and day on my timeline and here it is here okay but I could select to show nothing or I could select the whole lot but 
it's an identity thing. If you give your whole birth date and you know that if you're talking to somebody on the telephone from a power company, for example, that they will ask you for your birth date, certainly telecom do, and if you've got your birth date there, anybody can use it. So I restrict it to the day and the month of my birthday, and that's it, nothing more. This little thing here, am I interested in women or men? I don't tick that box because, to be quite honest, it's nobody's business but mine. And my relationship status, well, a lot of people uh, get information off this. They can determine when somebody's broken up if you care to do it and uh, they determine you've got together with somebody and so on and so forth so that's one something i wouldn't do languages you might like to put in english as say your first language or you might look like to put in um, a local language such as maori as your second language or you might be a swiss natural i'll say it again a swiss national and so you speak swiss as well Okay, religion. For most of us, religion is a very personal and private thing. There are many who do not want to share be their beliefs on Facebook, whilst there are many who actively seek others who share the same or similar beliefs. So they enter their religion as part of this process. This is a very personal thing, and only you can determine what you want others to see. And when you've finished making your changes, do not forget to save the changes. Remember, anyone can see your public information, your name, your profile picture, your gender, if you put it out there, your username, your user ID, which is the account number, and your networks. So there are things which you actually don't have a lot of control over. And the thing is, of course, is your name, your profile, picture, your gender, I think is debatable because it is possible not to put it up there. Your username goes up there, your user ID goes up there, and certainly your networks go up there. And having covered our timeline and worked right through it, step by step, we can now move on to sharing photographs. So we'll end this video here and we'll start again with sharing photographs.